If you have gotten the PageSpeed Insights recommendation to avoid chaining critical requests, this video is for you today. So first, let's understand what a critical request is and why it's important. Well, what you should know is that a critical request is any request from a resource essential to render the page. According to Lighthouse, this is defined as not preloaded, render blocking, or declared with a medium, high, or very high priority. And to give you an example, this could be the heading of a blog post or the image from a hero banner that triggers the critical request. And it should go without saying that a long critical request chain has a negative impact on your loading time and the perceived speed of your website. And with that happening, it affects both core web vitals known as largest contentful paint and first contentful paint. So to break it down, what this warning means is that the critical resources needed to render the web page are too large. As the critical request chains are a sequence of requests that depend on each other to render the final page on the user's screen. And if you didn't know, how they load is determined by the critical rendering path. The critical rendering path gives the order of priority to parse and execute each request. So if your critical requests form long chains, it will increase your latency and extend your page load time. So with that understanding out of the way, we still need to understand one final factor called maximum critical path latency. The maximum critical path latency is the total sum of the time spent downloading all the resources in the longest critical request chain. The example on screen right now shows GT Metrics longest critical request chain and associated latency at 2.9 seconds. And to optimize this path and deliver the fastest possible time to render, we need to minimize three variables. The number of critical resources the critical path length, and the number of critical bytes. So now with all this knowledge, let's get into the four main strategies that will help avoid chaining critical requests on WordPress. Number one is to eliminate render blocking resources. A render blocking resource triggers pieces of code that prevent a web page from loading quickly. Now, when it comes to eliminate render blocking resources, there are two efficient methods. The first method is to remove unused CSS, and the second is to delay or defer JavaScript. Now, for removing unused CSS, this will get rid of unused code and remove bloating. To manually do this, you can use a tool like Purify CSS, or for the easiest method, our plugin WP Rocket will do it for you in just one click. Now, with delay or deferring your JavaScript, this is another technique to eliminate render blocking resources, including including unused JavaScript. And you can apply either two scripts to the JavaScript, defer or async. Defer tells the browser not to wait for the script. And async loads in the background and runs when ready. So here's an example of the script tagged with the async attribute. And here's an example of the script tag with the defer attribute. Now, for the easiest option, once again, our plugin WP Rocket will take care of this for you in just a few clicks. Either way, both of these techniques aim at eliminate render blocking resources and avoiding chaining critical requests. Second is to preload key request. This is another optimization technique that allows the critical resources to be preloaded. And you can use this script to tell your browser which important script will be needed for a specific page. By preloading critical assets, it will improve your loading time and make the critical path shorter. And for the simplest way to preload key requests, all it takes is just the click of a button in WP Rocket. Third is to preload images and fonts. So the key here is to download all critical assets, images and fonts as early as possible to shorten the critical path length. So the preload script lets you tell the browser about critical content you want to load before it is discovered in the HTML. So to preload images, apply this script on them. And this is how your HTML looks like with a preloaded responsive image. Now, if you haven't guessed, the easiest way to handle this is with our plugin WP Rocket, where all it takes is just a few clicks. Fourth is CSS and JS minification. Minifying the code describes the process of removing unnecessary characters in the source code, such as white spaces, line breaks, comments, and etc. By trimming the code, it allows your critical requests to be shorter, resulting in a little speed boost for your website. So if all of the advanced optimization techniques mentioned in this video seem a little bit over overwhelming and you're not very comfortable with coding and editing your WordPress files, we recommend that if you want to save the time and get these same performance results, don't forget that our plugin WP Rocket can help you out in just a few minutes. And if you're looking to improve any other PageSpeed insights, check out our fully dedicated playlist right here. Goodbye and have a good day.